What's up my friends, Charlie Pangas here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm designing for a local barbershop that I recently went to and I just really loved it. I loved the aesthetic, the people were nice and I spoke with the owner, I at, least, at least I think he was the owner, but he was really cool. And while talking to him, I mentioned that I was a graphic designer and I said, how cool would it be if I designed stuff for you guys to sell in stores since they already had merch anyway? And he thought it was a good idea. So today we are going to do that. We're gonna design a few different merch ideas and see if they like it. And after the video, I will send them off. And if they reply, I'll make another follow-up video and tell you guys what they thought. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the barbershop I'm designing for is called Woods Viking Barbershop and Products. And this is their website. So if you guys wanna to go to it, you could definitely do that. But uh, today, obviously I wanted to do stuff with Vikings because that's what they're all about. So I have this shield that I wanna utilize and then I also have this ax. We're gonna do something with that. And I wanna make a document that's uh, proper size. So let's do 12 by maybe 16. And obviously we wanna do 300 resolution. And today I'm gonna to focus on some darker shirts. I don't know why, I just think they look cool and I like how colors pop off of black. So let's go ahead and copy this image into Photoshop, paste that in place. And I don't mind if this photo is blurry because I am gonna do some stuff to it to grunge it up. Now let's desaturate this one right here. I did notice that I made a bad selection on the left side, so let's go ahead and redo that. I might just use an ellipse. I don't wanna complicate the process of cutting this out, so I'm just gonna take an ellipse and it gives us a perfect cutout. So I just did the process over again because I didn't wanna be lazy about it. Something like that. And I do wanna bring out some detail before adding a certain effect to it. So I'm gonna to go to camera raw filter. Let's go ahead and add some contrast raise the shadows up, clarity, texture, all that stuff is good. I am gonna add a certain effect to this, so I don't wanna go too, too crazy with this, but I'm just trying to bring out a little bit more clarity in the wood. We don't wanna up the clarity too much. The texture, I don't mind, and that's pretty good. Let's hit okay on that. Let's go ahead and go up to filter and filter gallery. That's what I meant to say. We're gonna make this look grungy. So I wanna add a stamp effect, and we're just going to change some of these parameters around. All right, I think that looks pretty cool. I don't mind if the symbols are not showing completely because um, I don't know, I just don't mind. Hit okay. There is one issue though. I think the outside lost a little too much texture. So I'm gonna make another copy and we're gonna desaturate this one as well. And what I wanna do is go back up to filter gallery again and we're going to edit it a little bit differently this time. With the second copy, I just wanna try to bring out more detail in the wood part. Cool, so now what we could do is I can mask out the center part. So I'm just gonna take this circle and let's try to mask it out real quick and see what that looks like. Just quickly mask it out. I think that looks pretty cool. So now we have a lot more texture and I can color it later on. I'm not too worried about that right now, but um, what do I wanna do now? Let's go ahead and take this ax and do the same exact method with it. We might use that as well. I think this looks all right. Yeah, this looks all right to me. And we are gonna change the color of these in a second. What I wanna do is take away the dark part of this shield real quick and try to make it a different color. Convert that to a smart object, rasterize, color overlay, and let's make that a brown color. I guess more of like a tan color. Maybe yellow color, I don't know. Let's try this color out. Okay, hit okay on that. Do I wanna do the axis separate as a different design though? or do I want them to be one design? That's the question. Let's add a stroke, outside stroke, something like that. Copy that one more time so we have a, just an extra copy in case we mess up. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. I don't mind that. I don't know, the center needs something for me though. The center's missing something. I need to add some sort of shading right here. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go to my soft brush, a soft round brush will do. Make sure this is set to dissolve, just like that. That way it looks like it's actually behind. I feel like it's uneven now, damn it. Do the same thing for this side. A million times better, a million times better. The symbols on the shield need to be a different color. Let me try that real quick. Something like that, it doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of dig that like over scan look too. So I just finished the shield up. Let's hide the main copy real quick. So that's what it looks like so far. And I kind of want to do the same thing with the axis. I feel like the axis should be more brown. For the handles, I'm going to do something like that. And then um, maybe more of a silver color for the blade. 
So I'm just trying to sell this effect, you know? I don't want it to be um, just one color because it doesn't make sense for the blade to be just one color unless we're doing like an all black and white print, but I don't think that I want to go for that on this particular design. I really like this font. I don't know how to say the name. You guys can try to, um, but I like it. I think it looks really cool. So let's try this out. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is not the right font for the job, but I think it looks cool. So we're gonna try to roll with it. And I do want this to sit behind the shield and I think I'm gonna do a warp on it. So let's do an arc lower. And do I want it to be under the shield? I kind of do. Or maybe I need to give it breathing room, you know? What color do we want it to be? Ooh, even the symbols right there look sick. Huh. Maybe maybe this needs to be darker. I think it needs to be more of a muted color. This looks way better. And then these need to be a little bit more muted as well. What I wanna try is an outer stroke on these. So let's add an outer stroke. And then we have to add the writing at the bottom. So I think their thing is barbershop and products. So let's do barbershop at the bottom. Barbershop, but let's do it in a Viking font. I think that would look really sick. Yeah, I almost don't even want the brown in there now. All right, on the shield, I think it needs some silver too. I think that's what it's lacking. It's too red. I think this is gonna help balance the design out a little bit more. Make it look like the shield's going under. A little bit. Alrighty, so that's our first design. I think I like the way this looks. Now I'm thinking, do I need more brown in the design though? Cause there's like only one thing that's brown. <laughs> uh, that looks sick. Okay, let's mock this up and see what it looks like. Okay, that goes hard, dude. That, that goes hard. All right, now we're now we're looking good, man. I, I'm really happy with the way this is turning out so far. Let's cut that, paste that. So I just selected with the lasso tool so I can isolate it a little bit more. And then now I am going to uh, do the same thing for, let's do Murphy's Borough as well. Kind of like this cream color. So that's, that's good, I like this. Let's go ahead and copy this over. That looks so good, man. I dig it. Now what I'm gonna do is mock these up and send them off to Woods Viking for approval, see what they say, and I'll give you guys an update when I'm done. But uh, this is kind of my design process. It was sort of like a time-lapse slash watching me 
kind of think to myself as I'm designing. I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. If you do, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make more of them. That is it for this one, guys. But if you guys want some more design content, don't forget I have Merch Design Academy. We just hit 2K subscribers on there. Insane. I mean, I'm so stoked about that. Like that was really fast. And uh, anyway, I've been uploading like crazy on that channel. So go check it out in the description below. And you guys can also watch more videos on this channel by clicking the end screen. My name is Charlie Pangas. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.